All right. Welcome, welcome, welcome everyone to today's live Spring Skin Masterclass. We are going to be talking all about Spring Skin Tips, my favorite products to use in the spring, as well as, well, what is radiance, right? Now, the first question I would love for you all to ponder is the why. Why do we desire to have clear, glassy, dewy, healthy skin? Why do we desire to go through some type of beauty rejuvenation or radiance transformation? And in my opinion, I mean, I have the answer to the why or a answer rather, not the answer. And the why to bringing our freshest, most glowing, radiant face forward is actually a lot less superficial than you might think. We love being around beautiful things and beautiful people and people that have beautiful energy. Am I right? Sonia says it's a reflection of our inner world to feel amazing. And Yes, amazing is often used as a very good word. However, try the words beautiful or excellent instead. We don't desire to be trapped in a maze about anything. Exactly. Yes, our word choices are 100% part of being radiant. I catch myself when I say the words amazing or wonderful or wild or crazy and I've had to learn this stuff so that I can teach in a more precise way and convey information in a deeper way. Yes, that song that I played at the intro, Christopher Cross, Sailing, I adore that song so much. All right, let's get into it, shall we? What do we want to focus on with our skin in the spring season? Well, this is an excellent time to bump up your exfoliation, to increase your at-home peels, because we're not doing as much in the clinic at this time of year, because we're outside in the sun a little bit more. This is an excellent time to get into dermal rolling as well. Dermal rolling is lovely for all year round. And what I find is the next day after dermal rolling, my skin is looking plumper. It's looking glassier pretty much immediately. Did you know that new collagen takes about three months to form and mature collagen takes about eight to nine months to form? So if you have ever received a rejuvenation session of some sort or doing dermal rolling, it does take time for new collagen and elastin to form because those methods stimulate those fibroblasts to make more collagen and elastin. It doesn't happen overnight. That's why key supplements for the skin, I am going to be highlighting. Why don't we just start off with that, shall we? So I have a few favorite supplements that I like to take. And also as predominantly women on this call, I can make some specific suggestions as well to support women's needs. Oh, however, actually before this call, I had a lovely session with a gentleman client of mine, and I really feel for the gents because growing up, they never get taught skincare and how to look after their skin unless they meet with someone like myself, or they have a lovely partner who is willing to support them. And speaking of the male skin, our male counterparts. We just had a lovely gentleman join us. So allow him to feel warm and welcome also. So when it comes to supplements for the skin, what we really want to do is actually provide the skin the key nutrients it needs to make collagen and elastin. So some of the Key supplements are going to be antioxidants and omegas, as well as consuming internal collagen. There is a little bit of controversy around internal collagen supplementation. Some people say yay, some people say no. And getting back to my gentleman client today, he said, oh, I got this sunscreen that, you know, this very reputable YouTuber is actually a practitioner recommended. And I told him straight away, 
a lot of the free information you're getting out there in regards to skincare products are actually toxic. And I had to break it to him that the sunscreen that he had purchased based on advice he found on YouTube was actually a chemical sunscreen. And it actually had six of the chemical sunscreen filters that are harmful. And they actually only last about two hours and then they deactivate. Chemical sunscreens are those ones that sting your eyes. And many countries have actually banned them because they disturb, they disturb aquatic life like the, their coral reefs. So switching to a mineral only sunscreen is absolutely paramount. That contains ingredients like zinc and titanium. And the sunscreens that I have on my e-store are only mineral sunscreen filters. They're not blends. A lot of sunscreens these days are marketed as being mineral. But when you look at the active ingredients, they're not only mineral or they have a really low percentage of the zinc and titanium. So really how much protection are they actually going to give? So it's important for you to know that when you're consuming free content online, a lot of practitioners are simply directing viewers to easier access to options that you can get at CVS, for example, that are more drugstore quality. Now there's a big difference when you transition from a drugstore to practitioner grade quality. There's more of an emphasis with the practitioner grade skincare on research and development, as opposed to the over the counter stuff, which is often emphasized with marketing. And we've all seen this with celebrity skincare products as well. Don't even get me started on that. Because when I do deep dives on that stuff, a lot of those products are just full of paraben, salate, sulfates, artificial dyes, and those chemical sunscreen filters. So getting to the topic of skin supplements, if any of you have been tuning into the podcast, which was formerly the Rachel Barker podcast, and now the Always Radiant Skin podcast, and you will also see on my e-store that this is the pride and joy front and center, my personal holy grail skin supplement. And I actually did a research study with another plastic surgeon on the other side of the of the North American continent. And we both actually saw the same improvements in our test subjects across the board in about four weeks. And what did we see with the advanced thermal formula is a kind of this like glowing golden glow to the skin. Hello, Chelsea. Great to see you. Hello, Lucia. And also a reduction across the board in darkness around the eyes. So think dark circles, redness, and puffiness around the eyes, as well as a reduction in redness to the corners of the nose and the cheeks and hyperpigmentation. So sunspots or age spots and fine lines and wrinkles looked less deep. There are many skin supplements on the market. However, a lot of them, you know, have okay ingredients, but really what is the improvement? And the funny thing is, unless we use specific type of photography, then we actually forget what we looked like three to four days after a rejuvenation procedure. That's actually in the uh, published um, academic journal data, which is a really interesting statistic. So photography is really key. So that's what I used to analyze this one. So this is the anti-aging dermal formula. Love this one. It contains superoxide dismutase, which is a free radical scavenger. That's why taking antioxidants is really great for the skin to reduce the oxidative stress status in the body. And I'm in the process of having a massive paper published right now. It's already gone through the peer review editor process and it's being published now. So I'll be sure to share that with you. And it's talking about environmental toxins and the skin. Antioxidants are key for reducing that overall stress, oxidative stress status, which you'll hear me talk about a lot in regards to that toxic bucket. So you might be thinking antioxidants, oh, you know, for immune health or for just being healthy in general. However, that's how it works is it gobbles up those oxidative stressors that actually create cellular damage. The other cool thing about this one is it has a lot of omegas in it. 
And antioxidants are really key. I have one more product I want to highlight with antioxidants, but omegas are also key. Our cells in our body have this phospholipid bilayer and we need omegas for skin hydration. They're also excellent for the brain and all of that. Uh, there's also a, a number of other key ingredients. It's just for some reason, this specific blend really makes a difference. So that's the anti-aging dermal formula on my e-store. There's a slightly less expensive option of this one. That's the brightening formula. And this, that one doesn't have omegas. And that's one of the reasons for the price difference. However, I have lots of clients that love that one specifically if they're dealing with melasma. And sometimes when we're getting more sun and our oxidative stress status or a toxic bucket is a little full, that's when you'll notice more things like redness and hyperpigmentation pop up when you are outside. The other key antioxidants for the skin, now, a couple of years ago, I started to ramp up my overall health and wellness to not get sick. And I started taking a ton of the immune active. You'll also find this on my Easter as well. This contains NAC, quercetin, green tea extract, and what else does it have in here? Vitamin C and zinc. Those are all excellent antioxidants for helping the body fight things off and help the body reduce the oxidative stress status, reduce that toxic bucket. Antioxidants, omegas are all really, really, really important. And then there's also the topic of collagen. There's a couple of different things to consider with collagen. It comes down, Sonia says, congrats on the paper. Thank you. And and yes, the concept of redness on the eyelids is actually an early indicator, well, actually a late indicator, that the body is inflamed. If you're noticing redness and sensitivity on the skin and redness and puffiness to the eyelids, that's your body telling you that it would like you to take better care of it. This is where the concept of purifying your air, water, lighting, electromagnetics, and regular detoxing are critical because this is what your body is telling you that it needs. And a lot of people just brush this off. They're just like, oh, red eyelids, you know, darkness around my eyes. People just think I look tired all the time. There could very well be some internal things happening in your body that you just don't know until you know. When it comes to collagen, I do recommend consuming collagen. However, it really matters the source and the quality. So for example, a non-GMO grass-fed beef collagen is the golden elixir that you'll find on my Easter with 2.5 grams of collagen per serving. Some people speculate you could take anywhere from six to 12 grams of collagen a day. And with specific collagen formulas, I do notice the difference in my skin. And then with others, I don't really notice huge changes in my skin. With that golden elixir, I do. Uh, it does have a little bit of a flavor to it. For example, like a little bit of like a golden turmeric latte type of taste, which is excellent in really hot water. Have it nice as like a nice hot drink. Collagen is actually excellent for the gut as well. So when it comes to Annie, you mentioning redness on your eyelids, what's going on with your gut? Are you eating the right foods for your body? Are you eating healthy foods, but are they healthy for you? That's where the Viome Gut Intelligence Test Kit can come in very handy. You'll find that on my favorites biohacking page. Everything's at rachelvarga.ca. That's my main website. And it's a very simple test that you can take at home. It uh, requires a stool sample. And then some of their other test kits also look at the blood and the saliva. That's how you can get that answer on what age are you really biologically? compared to your chronological age. Are you younger biologically or are you older biologically? If your results come back as being older biologically, then what would be the first thing to start to do? Reduce the oxidative stress in general in your body. That's really, really, really important to basically at every point in your life, how can I clean this up? How can I purify this? So drinking filtered water, reverse osmosis, your Brita filter, fridge filter will not cut it. Um, I do have some excellent, some excellent reverse osmosis purification options on my biohacking favorites page. And then of course, air filtration. So when it comes to, again, that question of redness on the eyelids, 
The eyes are highly metabolic, meaning that they're quite sensitive to your environment. So if you have kids and pets and you live in a home, there's probably different things in the air and most homes have mold. So if any of you listen to my recent episode on the Always Radiant Skin podcast, you will know that I spoke to the importance of really good hygiene in your restroom with your toothbrushes, with your hairbrushes as well. Change, your, change out your hairbrushes because if you're using them in the shower, mold can accumulate under the brush. I kid you not. I bet you if some of you were to go to your restroom right now and open up the bristles from the main piece of the brush, you're probably going to see mold if you brush your hair in the shower. Don't brush your hair in the shower as well. It's a great way to break your hair. And with your toothbrushes, especially if you have an electric toothbrush where the, the toothbrush head attaches to the main body, there's lots of mold that can grow in there. So just use some vinegar, baking soda, and water. That's an excellent way to keep things clean, as well as caring for the eyes and the skin making sure that you are using some type of shower water filter head. I have a great one on my, ba- my biohacking favorites page also that I have that is really, really affordable. Getting back to air, you absolutely want to be purifying your air. It's really important because anything that's in the air will rest on your skin and yes, can contribute to redness on the eyelids. I'm really glad that you brought that up. It's very common about 50% of North, but no, yeah, 50% of North Americans have dry eye and we're seeing more and more of this because we're all on our devices. We're getting access to LEDs, which is just as damaging as the UV rays we get outside, believe it or not. However, we're just simply exposed to so much more of this LED light all the time with working in front of screens, having LEDs in the home. So just because you think you're working at home or you're in your office all day, you don't need sunscreen, think again. So to protect the eyes, definitely wear blue light blocking glasses. Not all of them are made equally. So I really like the Viva Rays that you'll find on my favorites page too. And I also have, uh, I had the company put prescription lenses in, which is excellent. So my top selling sunscreens for years have been the, well, there's a few of them, but I'm going to highlight these two. There's the Tizo Ultra Zinc. So this is a 20% zinc sunscreen. The mineral component of the mineral sunscreen that my male client this uh, earlier today purchased was like a 10%. It wasn't very high. And these ones are quite a bit higher um, in regards to the Tizo Ultra Zinc for the body. Love this one. It goes on a little bit white at first in the first five to 10 seconds, and then it just blends in beautifully. So if you're want, if wanting a really good sunscreen, that's going to give you uh, more protection than a lot of other sunscreens out there, go for this 20% zinc. It's untinted. It gives a dewy finish. It is absolutely lovely. Now the other top seller is this Pisa one here, which is a tinted primer sunscreen. A lot of my clients, they don't want a super dewy, shiny looking face. And I don't either when I'm recording videos here. So I really like this one. So instead of using a BB cream or CC cream, a lot of those products have added acrylates and all these things that you really don't want to be putting on your skin, which is the largest organ. We want to also reduce what we're using and streamlining our routine. So the sunscreen, it works like a primer as well. And it's a mineral sunscreen with a matte finish. There's a couple other, well, actually there's not a couple. There's about four different brands of sunscreens that I work with. So basically just figure out what you want. Do you want a dewy finish, a matte finish, tinted or untinted? And only use mineral sunscreens. Don't use any chemical filters. It's really sneaky these days. All the kids sunscreens that I come across in the drugstores, like at CBS, the, the kids sunscreens are just full of chemical sunscreen filters, which are known hormone disruptors. The research is very clear on this. I don't understand why these things are still allowed on the market. Your guess is as good as mine. So this is great for you and also for the whole family too. This is a really good like baby kid product as well. All right. What do I want to talk about next? Well, if we're talking about the eyes, 
let's any kids sunscreen sonia i love this one the ultra zinc that i offer it's a really really good one a little goes a long way it will also go a little bit further if you apply your full body sunscreen before you're going out for a day at the beach or in nature with the family when the skin is a little humid so applying right after the shower the bath is excellent now let's quickly talk about retinols now, a lot of times people are getting retinols and they could be prescription. And what you don't realize is in that prescription uh, compounded retinol, there's oftentimes preservatives in them. And I actually see a lot of parabens and sulfates in prescription retinols. So that's why working towards practitioner grade products pre-vetted by me is excellent. Can you show the other one first? That's the Tizo Ultra Zinc. And then the primer sunscreen, you can get all of these products on my e-store at rachelbarger.ca. And Sonia, just send me an email, info at rachelbarga.ca, and I will help you out. All right. So when we're thinking about using retinol, people often put the cart before the horse and they think, okay, you know, my skin's showing sign of redness and pigmentation. I hear retinol is really good for it, or I hear dermal rolling is really good for it. And they don't work at stabilizing the skin barrier first. This is so, so important to master your basic skincare protocol first before retinols and before dermal rolling, and even before seeking out rejuvenation. And a lot of clinics, they'll say, yeah, you know, we'll book you in and we'll do such and such, but they don't take the time to really advise you on how to basically stabilize your skin. And it's really simple. It comes down to using a cleanser. For example, the purifying gel cleanser that I offer on my e-store is incredible. Um, it's definitely the number one selling product that I have. I've used a lot of cleansers and I oftentimes don't, we're gonna talk about cellulite by the way too. I got my cellulite tool right over there. I'm excited to talk to you guys about that one. But a lot of times cleansers, they just like, they don't rinse off easily or they just don't take off makeup or tinted sunscreens well. So the purifying gel cleanser that I have on my Easter is incredible. And it uses coconut surfactant instead of sulfates. And other questions I get a lot of with cleansing is, well, what about my cellular water or oil cleansers or makeup wipes? Now, getting back to that comment about red irritated eyelids, I often see this as being a common theme in clients that meet with me that have red irritated sensitive skin. They're using my cellular water. They're using, you know, makeup wipes. They're using makeup removers and they're not actually cleansing the lash line properly enough. So then microbes hang out there or goodness forbid, they're not even washing their face in the morning. They're what, what I like to call a water splasher. You do want to use just a little bit of cleanser in the morning to when you wake up to get off debris from the air and, you know, oils that your skin makes, you know, stuff from your hair and your sheets, your partner, your fur babies, all that stuff. So cleansing morning and night is really important and double cleansing in the evening is key. Now, moisturizing the skin afterwards is also really important. And I have some updates um, on my Easter too, including a travel size option. So the shield is an excellent option for those with dry skin or red sensitive skin. And obviously the full size is a lot bigger than this one, but I wanted to highlight the fact that I do have some travel size options on my store too. And this is a great one to have on hand, say if you are using retinols or dermal rolling, I do recommend having one lighter sun moisturizer, having a lighter moisturizer for you know regular daytime use when your skin's feeling great. And then a richer one when you feel like your skin is really needing that extra hydration. And you can think of moisturizing like a multivitamin for the skin. And you'll hear studies and statistics for different skincare products out there that, you know, 90% of people noticed a 90% improvement in their skin immediately after using a specific moisturizer. That's what any type of even a garbage moisturizer should do. It should at least hydrate, but how is the skin 20 minutes after that? That's the question. Is there actually some antioxidant and nutrient delivery 
including things like peptides that are continuing to combat oxidative stress throughout the day, or is it just moisturizing the skin for, you know, 10 minutes? There's a lot to know with moisturizers. So using sophisticated products that are well-formulated, the ingredients are stable, they have antioxidant peptides in them is excellent. And so we've talked about cleansing, we've talked about moisturizing, I highlighted sunscreen, and exfoliation is a really key part with the skin. This last month, I actually have done something interesting. I haven't really exfoliated my face very much because I'm hearing a lot of people talk about, oh, you don't need to exfoliate. You don't need to use scrubs or AHAs or BHAs, which are essentially acids that can gently um, slough off dead skin. And I got to tell you, my verdict is now 100% officially conclusive. My skin is so much better when I use the exfoliating polish or the micro polish that I have on my e-store to gently get rid of the dead skin cells that can accumulate on the skin. As we age, our skin cell turnover slows down. So that's where retinols come in really, really, really handy as they help to, it's vitamin A is actually an antioxidant. It's been used since the nineties and it helps stimulate cell turnover. That's why it can make the skin look more youthful and help with things like pigmentation, fine lines, wrinkles, skin tone issues, and large pores. But what most people don't know is you cannot use just any retinol around the delicate eye area. The delicate eye area here, the skin is, is about, it's about 90% thinner than the rest of the face. And it's actually the first part of the face to show signs of aging. So if you're going to use any type of product around the eyes, you're going to want to use a specific product for the eyes, such as an eye cream that I suggest on my e-store and also the retinol eye gel a couple of times a week. And this one specifically for the eyes. Now, if you use other retinol based products around the eyes, what you're likely going to experience is redness and irritation, and sometimes even puffiness around the eyes. So when you're using say the intense corrective vitamin serum, you and any other retinol, uh, retinol comes in different percentages. So you'll see percentages like 0.25%, 0.5% or 1%. When you're starting out with retinol, you're going to want to start with the lower percentage, the more milder option. And then once your skin's adjusted, pretty much after you're done that bottle, then graduate up to the stronger retinol. Um, this particular retinol is a very gentle form of retinol. And I've just seen people respond really well to this one. And it's free of emulsifiers and preservatives. It's got vitamin B complex in it as well. When you're working with really great practitioner grade retinols, they often have other ingredients in there to buffer the irritation. So that's where, again, antioxidant pep and peptides in a really well-made retinol can go a long way than just, you know, getting a compounded one that more often than not what's in the compounded base of the product could often have things like sulfates and parabens. Most products out there actually that make the skin feel initially really good. Like a lot of drugstore products for rosacea or sensitive skin, they make the skin feel good because of how parabens feel on the skin. However, it's kind of misleading because it's not doing anything for skin health. It's just like putting a bandaid on, but it's actually also toxic and also messing with hormones. That's what parabens do. They're hormone disruptors. They're actually linked to things like breast cancer. How often do we use retinol? Anywhere from two to five nights a week. And you can basically start to become really in tune with your skin. I love retinols for the spring, summer. You're only using them at nighttime, not before a big day outside in the sun either because retinols can make your skin photosensitive. However, they've been studied and used retinol since the nineties, love them. And then what you can also do at home to promote cell turnover, the formation of collagen and elastin is also dermal rolling. So for all of my one-on-one -on -one clients, I give you specific guidance on exactly how to use this in my skin camp programs. That's where I show you the tutorial on how to use this as well. I take you in my restroom and I show you exactly how to use it. I don't do free tutorials for dermal rolling online for liability purposes. 
you will find lots of dermal rolling tutorials for free online on YouTube with Doug and Sally in their restroom. And I have to say every single time I've seen a dermal rolling demo of someone demonstrating it on YouTube, I cringe. And that should let you know that a lot of the free information you're getting access to isn't great. Uh, so if you are serious about having great skin and slowing aging and addressing your specific skin concerns, it's a good idea to find someone you trust that can guide you through the process and give you specific recommendations. Okay, the next question I get a lot of is what do we do about the neck? Okay, the Neck Perfect, this is one of the few neck products that I do like to use myself. The skin off the face, we're going to talk about body now. The skin off the face is different than the face. There's actually different skin cell receptors. So if you're dealing with necklace lines or laxity to the neck, it's a really good idea with whatever you're using, your cleanser, moisturizer, sunscreen, scrub, your retinols, that whatever you do to the face, you're also doing to the neck, the sides of the neck, and gentlemen, Joseph, the back of the neck, as well as the top of the chest and the hands. So care for the high real estate areas very well. So that when you're in your 60s, 70s, and 80s, you don't have floating head syndrome. And I also have some recommendations for rejuvenation that can be excellent for the neck also. Uh, but dermal rolling is great. It's a decades old practice. I've worked with it with my clients since 2011. And it's excellent for those who want to do something non-invasive and non-toxic. And maybe they don't have the funds for rejuvenation or the time to go and get things done. This will promote collagen. It was initially designed to help those that had really bad burns by about four different doctors on different continents, pretty well at the same time in the nineties. Um, the thing to know about dermal rollers is a lot of the dermal rollers that you're finding at CVS or these other beauty stores like Sephora, or for example, online is the needles up close under the microscope are blades and the metal is an alloy instead of titanium or surgical steel. So I work with rollers that have, with companies that have been manufacturing them since the nineties. Um, so this is, there is definitely a quality situation when it comes to rollers. This is a two year roller, as opposed to a lot of the other products you'll find that are like a 10, 20 use. And then it says to discard it. And yes, I give all my clients and skin campers proper instructions on how to clean them properly. And I have not ever had a, a client of mine using the right protocols with my recommendations, ever get a skin infection. You don't see bleeding with it or anything like that. And you just have to use the right roller with the right products. For example, the copper peptide, the soluble C and the corrective vitamin serum are really great products to use with dermal rolling that I've used with my clients with excellent long-term results since 2011. Uh, when you are rolling, you have to use products that are specifically designed for the skin when it's slightly compromised in that way. So there can't be any emulsifiers or preservatives because they're essentially uh, penetrating the skin much deeper. So when you put a skincare product on the skin, it's designed for topical application. When you're using your roller, you're creating these little channels in the skin, kind of like aerating the lawn. And then your products are actually able to be absorbed a hundred to a thousand times deeper into the skin, which is the beauty about it. And uh, one of the videos I found on YouTube once was this gentleman and he rolled and then he he applied a really heavy lactic acid, a high concentration of lactic acid on the skin. And I think he even said in the video, he had to go to the hospital because he was just having so much pain and inflammation. So yes, things can go very wrong. If you are trying to piecemeal this type of thing together online for free, I don't recommend that. So getting back to neck products, I highly recommend using products specifically for the neck and the chest. And the way that you would integrate something like this is after cleansing, you put your eye cream on, your neck cream, and then your moisturizer and sunscreen over top. And then the way that you use an antioxidant serum, antioxidants internally are really important. However, antioxidants topically are equally as important. 
And what they do is things like vitamin C, vitamin E. There is, there is even one uh, super serum that I offer that has reishi mushroom extract in it. And then there's another one. It's a CNE with additional peptides in it as well. And your serum is applied on clean skin right after cleansing. And then your moisturizer and sunscreen over top. And essentially what a serum does is a sunscreen is not a block. The word sunblock is also is actually a misnomer. There's nothing that completely blocks the sun's rays. It's a screen. So because of the screen quality, it's really important in your moisturizer and your antioxidant serum to then gobble up those free radicals that can form on the skin from UV from outside and also from blue light radiation. And also an antioxidant serum increases your skin hydration. So if you want a more hydrated look, you want a more dewy look, using an antioxidant is excellent. And of course I can make specific recommendations for you. The other thing I wanted to talk about before we get into body products, especially for body peels, body exfoliation, and even a hair growth stimulation, is the Bright and Clear solution. This one sold out really fast. I have more on its way. This is using a really gentle form of lactic acid and other skin brighteners. So if you're dealing with pigmentation and uneven tone, then this is actually something you use. I notice how I didn't recommend a toner. Your cleansers and products should already be pH balanced and you should ideally already be washing your face with filtered water. So the whole concept of a toner is, is a little ridiculous to pH balance the skin. Uh, use your cotton pad while applying it to, you know, get residual stuff off the face. Now, forget about using cotton pads and all that stuff. The Annie, this is the bright and clear solution. It's a brightening solution that you use like you would a toner, but without the cotton pads or anything like that, you just put a little bit in your palm, apply it everywhere. And it does help to over time, brighten the skin with the use of lactic acid as a gentle exfoliant. So chemicals are either good for you or they're not good for you. A lot of the chemical sunscreens are really bad for you. The paraben, phthalates, sulfates, artificial dyes, and fragrances, um, a lot of fragrances are phthalates actually. So stop wearing perfumes because you're likely damaging your thyroid, aging your skin, and exposing yourself to hormone disrupting agents. Some chemicals are really good for us, like water, for example, with the combination of oxygen and hydrogen. A chemical is basically two atoms that come together, have more than two atoms that come together. So just because a product says it's chemical free or all natural, basically all natural means it comes from planet Earth. And more often than not, I see petroleum based ingredients in those products. And then chemical free is totally false advertising because as soon as you look at the ingredients list, the first ingredient's water, that's a chemical. This is what's called green washing. Okay. You also have to be careful that even organic skincare products, the oils, you're welcome, Annie, that the oils are not rancid. And we're seeing a lot of, I'm seeing a lot of hydrogenated vegetable oils pop up in my consultations with my clients or review the products that they're using and maybe some of them they're liking, uh, but I will determine what they can work through and use or what we need to switch out because of the not so good chemicals in them. All right, next up, I would love now to talk a little bit about body care. You heard me mention lactic acid. So lactic acid, salicylic acid, alpha hydroxy acid, beta hydroxy acid, those are all chemicals that when they're made well and in a really good formula, they can gently chemically exfoliate the skin. The scrubs that I mentioned previously, they mechanically exfoliate the skin. What's my take on exfoliation? A little bit of this and a little bit of that, just like living, live in moderation. You don't have to go crazy with you know, air purifiers, water purifiers, wearing blue blockers, switching all your LED lights out in the home, wearing EMF protective clothing, you know, doing detoxes. Uh, however, I do recommend you slowly start to incorporate all of these aspects into your daily life for you and your family at home and in your workplace so that you don't have 
you know, red eyes and dark circles and signs of inflammation on the skin, like cracking at the corners of the mouth. Um, even things like seasonal allergies can be linked to having an overfull oxidative stress status or wet toxic bucket. So very interesting when you start to care for yourself and eat the right foods that aren't inflammatory for you. Um, say for example, things like kale or red bell peppers, those are known to create inflammation in the body. However, they're marketed as being clean and good for you. And what it comes down to is if, is if that food is actually good for you. Okay. So that's why you can get pretty sophisticated with that volume test kit on my favorite uh, biohacking page. Okay. So Dermalac, we've talked a little bit about the face. We've talked a little bit about exfoliating. That's a pretty big bottle. This one I find lasts like eight to nine months, even it's great. This is a body peel. So if you're looking at your ankles right now, or the bottom of your legs, and you're noticing it looks a little, not so fresh, maybe like a little dry, a little flaky, kind of like lizard skin. Well, ladies and gentlemen, we're about to show a lot more of our body off with wearing skirts and shorts and um, short sleeve tops, because it's hot out. You're not going to be wearing a long sleeve all the time. So Looking after the bot, the skin on your body is really important. So this is basically an overnight peel that you can sleep in about once or twice a week. You put it on after bathing before bed, everything except the high real estate area. You are using your skincare uh, that I've recommended for you there. And then this everywhere else, you put it on, you wake up the next morning and your skin is noticeably smoother, more hydrated feeling and more glassy looking. So yes, body peels are a thing. And in fact, you can even use your retinols on different body areas, such as the top of the shoulders, the elbows, and the knees for the crepiness, as well as the inside of the arms too. So you don't just need to use your skincare on your face. You can absolutely use it on other areas that you're noticing aging as well. And what it comes down to with skincare and using actives, is being consistent. You're not going to get results overnight. Like I said before, the skin cell turnover is about a month and it slows down as we age and new collagen forms at three months and mature collagen forms at about six to eight months. All right. Now we're going to talk a little bit about cellulite. Who wants to learn about how to reduce cellulite on the body? Pretty much anyone over 35 is likely, well, not so much for the gentleman here on the call, uh, because their skin is different. Their fascia is actually different. Their fascia is more aligned like this. Now for the ladies, Lucia, yes, I happen to know you are super fit as well. You had some beautiful muscles on you, my darling. I see you. I see how beautiful and radiant you are. And when it comes to women, our fascia is organized more like this. So what happens is between these junctions, we get these fat globules that pop through. Very frustrating, I know. So what can we do about it? Should we spend thousands of dollars on cellulite rejuvenation in the clinic with radiofrequency or you know, radiofrequency microneedling, skin tightening? Should we do that? What do you guys think? Well, I do certainly have an answer to that. One of the easiest ways to reduce, and I'm not going to say eliminate or banish because this is in medical advice, this is educational information only. If you think you have a medical condition, you must seek the guidance of a licensed physician. When your fascia is like this and you have fat globules popping out, what could we possibly do to get those fat globules to go back in and not protrude out? This comes down to manual massage of the tissue. So whether or not you're using a gua sha tool or a cup in the shower or you're dry brushing, those can all help. However, the one that I'm the biggest fan of is this gadget over here. This is like a $90 fascia blaster. It's actually what it's called. It's made by someone called Ashley Black. And I've had this, I think for, I'm going to say 10 years. <laughs> It's definitely held up. I keep it in my shower and bathtub. So say, for example, I'm in the shower, I have the water running, or I've put my Dermalac on, or I'm shaving my legs. And I love the pineapple body oil that I offer for that too. 
as basically an emollient to help with leg shaving and then you're hydrated afterwards, having some type of oil on the skin will actually allow this to glide on the skin much better. But basically what this does is it's putting pressure on those globules, right? Those glo fat globules. And it's helping to smooth out the fascia, okay? You know, for women, it's not gonna go just like man's fascia, but it will smooth it out a little bit. That's why yoga is actually great too. Ask any massage therapist who has less cellulite. They'll tell you it's those that do regular stretching and yoga. The more optimized your fascia is, the better your cellulite is going to be, the, the less obvious it's going to be. And doing regular type of lymphatic drainage with some sometimes relatively uncomfortable pressure on your thighs is excellent. This is also excellent to use on the abdomen for basically like stagnant lymph to release that, then you definitely want to be drinking water after that. I did a big fascia session, um, lymphatic drainage session on myself yesterday. Basically just do this when you remember to do it. That's why I like to have this in the bath or shower. So I see it when I'm bathing myself and then I'll take about anywhere, depending on how long I feel like doing it, five to 20 minutes, really good to do this in the sauna as well. And when your fascia and your body is warmed up, it's going to be a little bit easier to smooth things out. And so this isn't going to give you results after one go. No, you want to be consistent with um, a fascia type of tool like this for about one to two months. All right. Um, cellulite, thinning, thinning to the skin. Uh, they're all signs that, yeah, you want to be manipulating that tissue a little bit better. And you also want to be putting good things on the skin like the Dermalac, like I have this excellent body serum on the, it's actually called body serum um, on my Easter as well. And a lot of practitioner grade products I find make really low quality, not very good body care products. So the ones that I have on there are the ones that I personally love. So cellulite is something that takes time um, and just get in the habit of doing so that you have you know, better long-term outcomes. Next up, I want to talk about hair loss. How many of you over the last couple of years in particular have experienced some type of hair loss? Let me know in the chat. Let me know how many of you have experienced um, that hair loss. Fan says, yes, definitely. Brenda says, me. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Let me know how many other people have experienced hair loss over the last couple of years. I mean, stress is definitely going to do this as well as the oxidative stress status getting over full. Ali says, yep. I pretty much see in all of my one-on-one -on -one consultation clients that most people have experienced a degree of hair loss over the last couple of years. Why could that be? Well, environmental toxins are at its finest right now in your air, water, lighting, electromagnetics, and your food, okay? This is definitely a contributing factor. So what do I suggest doing? Start to use some, well, clearly these bottles were in my shower. They're a little squished because I use these guys a lot. This is like a 1970s formulation. This is the Segal's option that you can find on my e-store. Shampoo, conditioner, the once a week scalp spray. There's also a solution that you can, that I have as well, that you put on clean, clean scalp. I just leave it on. Lucia says stress. Yeah, stress is a huge contributing factor to dis-ease in the body in general. So keeping your stress down, being cool as a cucumber, listening to some Christopher Cross. You know, having your body, mind, spirit, energy practices, getting right with God and your family, that is all really important. Releasing trauma. I just had um, Michelle reach out over email, tell me how much she liked that episode that I did talking about trauma and the skin. There's a huge link and we need to, we need to really work through trauma. A lot of us have been, let's just face it, pretty traumatized last couple of years. And we're walking around and we don't know it. Just take note of people you're walking by on the street, how happy they look or do they look like, and they're not even smiling at you anymore. I know what it's like where I live at the moment. 
So this is the advanced thinning looking shampoo and conditioner. I recommend using this every time you wash your hair. There's a bark in here, and this is a 1970s formulation. These are like $14 that you can find directly on my e-store. So I highly recommend these ones and for the hair. And let me know any questions that are coming up. I'm gonna check back on these questions in just a second. All right, yes, the name of the hair products. This is the Advanced Thinning Looking Shampoo Conditioner. And that was the once a week scalp treatment. And then there's the Advanced Thinning Formula. If you go to my e-store and just search, you know, Advanced Thinning, you're gonna find it. All right, so that was... That's a wrap. That's what I wanted to cover, which is a lot in a free masterclass. And so another question here, Joseph, hello. We, had, we got a doctor in the house. Uh, Joseph's actually been on the show as well. He's a neurologist and he shared in our episode the, the connection between a sebaceous hyperplasia and the brain. Really interesting, the connection between the brain and the skin. And Joseph says, I sometimes do gliding, cupping for lymphatic drainage. I'm guessing this would be bad for cellulite. No, that's really good for cellulite. It's that gentle manipulation of the tissue with a tool like a cup or like a gua sha tool, or just get yourself the Ashley Black fascia blaster. You can spend a small fortune on some of these cellulite busting tools that I see online all the time. It's always my aim to bring to your attention resources that are non-toxic and that aren't going to break the bank. And all of my clients know that I'm all about saving you a lot of time and money. Okay. That's what you pay for. Hello, Claudia. Great to see you. This was great. Thank you so much for sharing this information. My pleasure. And thanks for showing up. I'm glad that you decided to spend your Thursday evening with me. Sonia says, your glasses, are they prescription and do you wear them all the time? Yes, they are. And I do wear them all the time. They are bulletproof basically. And I love them. I love the optics. I also find I don't even have to wear sunglasses when it's really sunny out. That's how good these optics are. Um, these are the Viva Rays. Uh, you can get them on my favorites biohacking page. Just let the company know that you want to get the prescription option. Give them your prescription. Boom. You have proper blue light blocking glasses prescription because the coating at the optometrist isn't adequate enough. I'll tell you that. Sonia says, been looking at those. Yes, they're excellent ones. Uh, Joseph says, I want that device. I thought the suction might pull the fat further from the fashion. No, it actually um, helps to smooth things out, believe it or not. It's not going to make that bulge worse. It's actually going to pull at the fascia and stretch that fascia out and help to smooth it out. And Joseph says, big congrats on the paper. Yes, that one took me from, I started researching it a year ago and I could not believe what I found out about the connection with air, water, lighting, electromagnetics, and detoxing. We didn't even talk about electromagnetics and detoxing, but uh, a lot of you know, in my skin camp, I go into extensive detail on that with things that I do behind the scenes. And then the word choice situation, the, the word choice question that came up from, uh, from Sonia, that's, that's the kind of stuff I teach in the school of radiance is like all the things that I do behind the scenes to show up, teach, be my best version, have the energy that I need to have to run a business, to be a practitioner, to write papers, to teach, work with clients and start to have a family. Uh, these are all really important layers to bring you the beautiful radiant life of your dreams. 
And what goes along with that? Uh, so the school of radiance.com is a really, really deep in depth look into what I do behind the scenes to stay in this positive emotional mindset. Positive emotional state is everything. Banish negative emotions once and for all, because you know what they do? They make you stressed out. They make you skin irritated. They make you older, faster. And they also are going to, you know, just make you not feel good and be in that negative emotional thought loop, which will make you frown and squint and, you know, contort your face. So there's a lot to be said for being high vibe, beautiful, and radiant. Lucia says, you look radiant as always. Very lovely. Thank you. I went for a nice walk outside, got some beautiful sunshine on my body. Definitely, you know, 15 minutes a day of sunshine on the skin. It's really great. I'm not scared of the sun. And what really made my body more tolerant to the sun, when you become more tolerant to the sun, that's your body telling you that, wow, your oxidative stress status isn't as full. Enjoy the sun. So that's why I love the immune active, NAC, Cusitran, green tea extract, zinc, and vitamin C and the dermal formula. When I started taking these two products in particular, as well as the SPM active for high dose omega, also great for a post COVID concussion. They actually have studies with that product. When I really bumped up my antioxidants, my omegas, my collagen started to reduce toxins in my environment. I could be outside longer and actually not burn the same way I did before. I'd be outside for, you know, 10, 15 minutes before, and I'd already be getting pink and rosy. <laughs> All right. A uh, fan. This is a great question. I have a question on dermal rolling. Do we have to be exfoliated or is there something we can do to prepare before rolling well cleansed and maybe a gentle exfoliation with the cleanser and the scrub that I suggested for you fan um, as a client of mine. I have lots of you know, clients that have worked with me for many years in here, which is great. Lots of skin campers, School of Radiant alumni. And then we got some new people in the house. So it's a great way for you to get to know me a little bit more and engage and interact also. Yes, fan. I use the word wonderful. Excellent. Excellent. Beautiful. Thank you. Our great word choices. Sonia gave me lots of hearts. I'm thrilled you guys took the time to be here. We're at 6.01. We are at an hour and one minute. I was only going to do 30 minutes. This is usually how this goes. I just love to give, give, give and teach. Uh, Lucia, I'm in Arizona. Need to go outside very, very early in the morning or late in the evening. I love Arizona so much. And I've spent actually quite a bit of time in the desert and at altitude. And it is not kind on the skin and the aging process. I'm just going to tell you that right now. So Lysia, the Dermalac, you will love this. And keeping the skin really well hydrated, exfoliated, Lucia, the immune active, the dermal anti-aging formula, um, also, you know, doing all the things is really going to help you manage being, being in the, uh, the high altitude. I see the, Joseph says, who's a doctor? I see the importance of encouraging skin remodeling with dermal rolling. Yes, especially if copper peptides are on board. Mm -hmm. Copper peptide, hyaluronic acid, vitamin C, a little bit of retinol in there with my protocols are great. But I've wondered if it creates micro scarring. Is this a legit concern? What it does is it creates micro injury. Okay, the little tiny needles create a little, little tiny injury in the skin and it punctures deep enough to get those fibroblasts activated and also keratinocytes too and melanocytes um, that make pigment and it actually elicits collagen remodeling so no not scarring however if someone is using a really low quality roller or they're getting a rejuvenation session somewhere um yeah if the energy isn't right and they're using a really low quality product and they're not using the right skincare products used with it Sure, you could run into all sorts of different problems. So no, it's not a micro scar, it's a micro injury, but you're feeding the skin, you're caring for the skin. And that little space that you created with that tiny, tiny, tiny needle, there's no blood, skin might just feel a little warm afterwards. Um, it's just gonna heal back better than ever because you're also taking your antioxidants, your omegas, your collagen. You're living uh, as close to a toxic-free lifestyle as you possibly can. 
Wendy says, thank you. Terrific. And Ali, send me an email and I will get you connected um, with how you can work with me. So you can work with me by sending me an email info at rachelvarga.ca. Book your one-on-one session. Use Masterclass 15 for 15% off of your one-on-one session with me. And then, of course, all one-on-one clients, I highly recommend taking my skin camp so that I actually show you how to even do facial gua sha. When you're putting on your products, you can do facial gua sha as well. Move that facial lymph around every single time you're cleansing and putting your products on. Uh, There's a lot of people in here who have taken my skin camp programs and, you know, they all get to see the tutorials that I ain't going to show on YouTube for, you know, Bill, Bob, and Sally. And they're going to use things wrong. And, you know, there's going to be all sorts of problems. And then, of course, uh, for those of you who have done one-on-ones with me, who have taken my skin camp and are ready for that next layer uh, to be able to be more radiant, this is really deep stuff. This isn't going to be really the content I'm going to be sharing for free online because it's, it's simply not for everybody. Not everybody is ready to get to the why of radiant transformation and the why really is comes down to community and connection so that we are bringing our most beautiful vibrant radiant magnetic pure version forward to make a bigger difference make an impact in the world have more beautiful exchanges with ourselves those positive emotional states those word choices or everything that's just a sneak peek Um, as well as having better interactions with those we love the most and really being able to bring in other beautiful circumstances in our lives. You know, you've heard the saying, good things happen to good people. Well, even more radiant things happen to radiant people all of the time. People want to be around you, but there's also strategies that I share to protect your energy so that you don't have exchanges with people that you don't want to be having exchanges with. There's, there's things to be uh, said in that. And then for things like grooming, um, how do we do our grooming at home within, without having to you know go places to get our nails done all the time? Grooming, gestures, all of that um, appearance, what to do with our hands and feet when we're talking <laughs> so that we look more confident. We're not constantly self-soothing, you know, playing with our hair and things like that, which are dead giveaways of insecurities and actually psychological distress, to be completely honest with you. So we want to be cool, calm, collected, confident, radiant. That's what the school of radiance is all about. Lucia says, thanks. I really appreciate your time and knowledge. My pleasure. I'm grateful for everyone here. Any questions, send me an email, info at rachelvarga.ca. If you're not sure which option is right for you or where to start, just send me an email, info at rachelvarga.ca. And I am doing discovery calls for the School of Radiance to make sure that the program is a great fit for you. It's kind of like those for those masters, those extra keeners that, you know, they got the skin stuff and they're ready to go quite a bit deeper to be in the most radiant version of themselves that they know they can be and they know that they're worth it. Okay. There's a lot of value and, you know, vanity comes up when we're thinking about doing self-care for ourselves. Ali, you are very welcome. Send me an email. Look forward to connecting with you. AR, you are very welcome as well. Uh, This was a great group. Thanks for the engagements. Thanks for the questions. Stay tuned for my next live masterclass. And again, the free stuff is definitely, the best stuff is not for free. Let me tell you that. Um, When you exchange with someone, that's that's when you're going to receive Uh, a different type of learning as well. So just putting that out there. That's why that free stuff you find on YouTube ain't so great after all, is it? (laughs) Love you all so much. Continue to hang out with me on the Always Radiant Skin podcast, new name, and stay tuned for those free updates. And if you haven't yet, download my free skincare checklist over at skincarechecklist.com. It's a brand new guide. I just made it like the other month. And it's, it actually gives you in-depth insights as to, you know, how to use certain products, the order and what different things do. It's a pretty in-depth guide. Love you all so much. Good to see you, Jennifer. Thank you for your recent order as well. So nice to connect with many of you. Have a high vibe, beautiful and radiant rest of your day, everyone. <laughs>